you are always changing and always being yourself. It's a bit of a paradox, this idea of being yourself or, you know, trying to be yourself or not being yourself. It's like, you're always yourself, no matter what. How could you be otherwise? It's kind of like being present. How could you not be present? You're always present. The idea that you're not is not true. I was going to say illusion, but the idea that you know, you, you could be something other than yourself. It's impossible. It's all that you can ever be. And yet you're constantly changing. So it brings about this question of, of who you are. And it really comes down to this awareness of the present and being present and being yourself are kind of interchangeable because you can't not be present. You can't not be yourself. And yet The present as we experience it is always changing. Like the you that started this video or podcast is not the same as when it ends. And yet the entire time you were being yourself. So there's a few aspects of this that I want to bring up in this podcast episode. By the way, this is episode 23 of the Intermarine Podcast. So thank you for tuning in. Um, But I I really just want to harp on this idea of being yourself and and how, you know, people get stuck trying to be themselves and and trying to figure out who they are, and how they should be. And in reality, there, there is no should for how you should be. There is no right way to be a person people get caught up in that idea, as well. And it's like, you're just being It just is. The here and now is what is always. And you're always yourself, no matter how you act. And uh, so one of the first points is, is this idea of knowing yourself. And Alan Watts touches on this quite a bit in his speeches. If you haven't listened to any of them, I highly recommend it. You can just go on YouTube and search Alan Watts, you know, knowing yourself if you want specifically about this topic. But he has a lot of speeches on all sorts of different topics. He's one of my favorite philosophers ever. Um, And he talks about this idea that you, you can't know yourself because how can the knower know itself? It would be like biting your own teeth or using a pair of scissors to cut that pair of scissors or pointing a finger at itself or tasting your tongue. You can't, the, the object of the action cannot take the action on itself, if that makes sense. So you actually can't, as the knower, know yourself. So it's almost like a waste of energy. You're just being yourself. So in order to be yourself, you, you can't not be yourself. But when people ask things like, how do you be yourself? It's like, by not trying to be anything specific at all. And once you get caught up in this idea of yourself, it's not that you're not being yourself because you're always yourself, but you get caught up in it. You're, you're trying to hold on to this past, almost like this past version of yourself. And another point I wanted to bring up was uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. So I'm a huge Gary Vaynerchuk fan, Gary V. Um, he's a big social media, motivational speaker. And this is actually a point that I don't necessarily agree with him on. And my friend Ray sort of brought this to my attention. And and at first I was like, oh, you're harping on Gary Vee. But then once he explained it more, I, it made more sense. And, and so Gary curses a lot, kind of like me. I curse a decent amount, but he has talked about it in the past and how people have requested that, you know, he doesn't curse as much or or why do you curse so much? Like you don't have to, people would still listen to your messages if you didn't curse as much. And his response is always, well, if I didn't curse, I wouldn't, you know, I would no longer be myself. And it's like, hold on, Gary, whether or not you curse doesn't change whether you're yourself, you're always being yourself. So by thinking, by him thinking that he's not being himself, by not cursing, he's holding on to 
this idea of himself. And the idea of yourself is never yourself. It's, it's an idea. And so if you think about it, like we're constantly changing, but constantly being ourselves, the universe is inter, you know, all of these weaves and waves are happening. We're flowing, whatever, changing, but also being ourselves the entire time. And it's as if, if you were to have this idea of yourself that you continued being for the rest of your life, it's like this flow. And all of a sudden, you know, you get to age 30 and it's like, you stop flowing and you're like, that's who I am. Like what I've done this thus far in my life has defined me. I have this idea of myself and I'm that. And so for the rest of your life, even if maybe internally he wants to curse a little bit less, but he's afraid that this message he's developed of being yourself, he won't hold true to that if he didn't curse as much or stopped cursing altogether. It's like, no, you would still be yourself. You're always yourself. And by thinking that you wouldn't be yourself, you're clinging to this idea in the past of this, this past idea of yourself. So no matter what you do, you're always being yourself. And, and, you know, people will also bring up, you know, you see some friends from high school or something and they're like, oh man, you've changed. Like you're different now. It's like, I'm always different. You know, by the time this conversation ends, I'll be different. So if you're not, it's not that there is any good or bad or, or should or shouldn't, but if you have these ideas that you aren't changing and, or you shouldn't change or, or, you know, you, you figure out who you are and you never change ever, you're going to be resisting what is, and you're going to build up this resistance, both if you try to not change and if you try to hold on to this idea of yourself. So what brings about true freedom is realizing that you're always changing and always being yourself no matter what you're doing. So it allows you this freedom to change and to be fluid in whatever you're doing, whatever your interests are, whatever you want to strive for, whoever you want to be, whatever you want to accomplish in this life. So many people get caught up in you know, they had this past idea of themselves or what they liked or what they believed in. And they think if they change that or admit they were wrong or change who they are, that all of a sudden they're, they're going to be going against this idea of themselves. And, and you're not, you never are. You, it's impossible to be just like, it's impossible to not be present. Even if you're overthinking, even if you're thinking about the past thinking about the future, you're doing that in the present. So you're still being present no matter what you're doing and realizing that you are nothing more than this awareness of what is. You start worrying about the past or being afraid of something that might happen in the future. You are aware. You are not that which is fearful or that which is worried. You are not the being that is worried or afraid. You are the awareness that this being is worried and afraid. So you're not this human that you think you are. You are the awareness of them. Is It's hard to say it exactly what it is and pinpoint it and, and, you know, narrow it down necessarily. But the best explanation I've been able to come up with is, for example, for me, I am not Andrew Murnay and I'm the present awareness of Andrew Murnay. So that present awareness is always, so Andrew is always changing but this present awareness is always the awareness of what is. That awareness doesn't change ever. It's always just aware of the here and now from for all of eternity. But Andrew is always changing. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. <laughs> uh, so you're always changing and always being yourself. So no matter what you do, what you enjoy doing, how you change, you're always being yourself. So that's pretty much all I wanted to get across in this video. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you made it this far, make sure to follow, subscribe, like if you enjoyed it, comment any thoughts and questions, and I will catch you in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.